What is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Dress Ricardo here. For those of you who don't know me, I am a menswear and lifestyle blogger. Before we get started today, please do subscribe to my channel because there will be a lot more fashion and lifestyle videos coming up. Also, if you want to keep up with me on a daily basis, you can check out my Instagram at I am Andres Ricardo. Everything will be linked down below, of course. Without any further ado, let's just open up these bad boys. Today we got the Balenciaga Triple S and also the Yeezy 500s. Uh, just to begin with, let's just do a side by side comparison. Everything about the Triple S is oversized, even the box, whereas the Yeezy 500s just comes in a regular shoe box. The Triple S dropped as part of uh, Balenciaga's Fall and Winter 2017-2018 collection last year. It comes with the receipt, also the uh, Balenciaga DOS bag. Right off the bat, the shoe feels really heavy and so there is a really strong glue smell. Other reviews I've seen here on YouTube claim this, uh, the smell started with the version 2 of the shoe since it's now being made in China. I cannot confirm or deny this because I've never unboxed or even seen an Italian version in person. Of course the Balenciaga logo across the sole. The product details, um, according to the Balenciaga website, say this is an American style oversized trainer. It is made of nubok, soft calfskin, and meshes. It has a quilted effect and a double B logo at the back, which would be this right here. As far as the sizing, most people here on YouTube say you should go have a size down. I personally bought these on a size 10, which is what I normally wear, and they fit perfectly. As most of you probably know, the shoe already comes pre-distressed, which gives it a previously worn kind of look. And also the Balenciaga logo is really minimal this time around. And the, la the shoelaces are uh, different as well. On to the next ones. These are the, and I've already previously worn these. I couldn't wait. <laughs> These are the Yeezy 500s in the blush colorway. According to the website, they're being described as featuring tonal suede upper construction stitching laces and a bulky sole. For these ones, when it comes to the size, I actually went a size up, but this is what I do for every Adidas shoe that I've ever owned. I always have to get an 11 in order for them to fit me comfortably. I'm gonna go ahead and just try them on with the outfit that I'm wearing just to show you guys how they look on feet. All right, so what I've seen uh, Kim and Kanye do is, at the end of the day, these are dad shoes. So in order for the, the size of the shoe to look normal, the clothes have to compensate. So they have to be baggier as well. What I've seen them do is that they tuck the bottom of the joggers in the socks to just create that um, hanging effect. See how like it kind of looks like it's hanging over the, the sock? That's what you wanted it to look like. These are really not that comfortable to walk in. The shoe itself is comfortable, but just when it comes to walking, like I feel like since this comes all the way back, like kind of like the speed trainers, the, the back of the sole is like really pointy and it kind of gets in the way when you're um, landing the foot on the floor. So it just, it makes you go like, it makes you go like this. It's not like a smooth transition. I guess it takes some getting used to. They don't really feel that heavy. Like I said before, the Chinese version is supposed to be lighter than the Italian version. So it's not, it's really not that bad. I'm just gonna bring the joggers all the way down. 
because that's what I've uh, that's what the Balenciaga website the model wears it and then I'm gonna talk talk my shirt in So just to give you guys an idea of how big the triple S are, uh, this is what they look like next to other shoes. Alright guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for coming back and watching my channel. If you did like this video, if you think it helped you in any way, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. Also, if you want to keep up with me on a daily basis, you can follow me on Instagram at IamAndresRicardo and until next time, guys.